Hello and welcome to lecture series on electrodynamics. Integration by parts is the last section of integral calculus uh, in this chapter. So integral uh, integration par by part in fact utilizes the products rule. Uh, we have the product rule D over say we have two function F and G and both are function of X. So we, we know we can write this F T G over T X plus G D F over D X. So if we take integral on both side, integral f dg over dx plus integral g df over dx. So this will become fg, say we are integrating over from a to b, integrated limits from A to B. And that remaining side is from A to B. Right side is DG over DX plus A to B G df or dx all right um so this is the uh, basic principle we will be using for integration for parts so let's solve an example how to apply this uh, integration by parts we have example 1.12 and we are given we are asked to evaluate x e to the power minus x dx. So solving directly to this function is uh, seems difficult. So let's uh, apply the integration by parts. So assume we have f of x is equal to x and g of x is equal to e to the power minus x. Then df over dx will become 1 and dg over dx will become minus e to the power minus x. So uh, if we write um, the formula 1, and put the values in. So integral 0 to infinity x e to the power minus x dx the f of x and this is um, derivative of so yeah here i missed a trick so here is minus then it will turn to be a positive so this is f of x and this is derivative of g of x so f of x we placed f of x dg or dx and then it will turn out to be plus 0 to infinity and g of x which is minus e to the power minus x and derivative of f of x dx is equal to f of f and g 
where f is x and g is minus x from a to b. So um, this is what we were asked to resolve. So we'll keep it zero to infinity. X here is for minus X DX. And take both on the other side. So when we resolve this one. Minus minus plus zero to infinity. It is for minus X. Minus X equal minus X zero to infinity. All right, so this one is straightforward. So when we put infinity is minus infinity one over zero, and zero this will become one, and x e to the power minus x. So this this will become zero so integral will become one so the whole thing zero to infinity x e to the power minus x dx is equal to one so it was not easy to solve directly but using the integration by parts it, we resolve it. So same way we can exploit all this uh, for uh, product uh, vector calculus. So say we have del dot f a where f is a scalar function, a is a vector. Then we know how to write it. F del dot a plus a dot del f. So if we apply in the integral del dot f a d tau say volume integral. So f del dot a d tau plus integral a dot del f theta. So if we want to find say this part so we will keep it this and take the other one to other side f del dot a d tau will become del dot d tau minus integral a dot del f dot d tau. All right, so we can resolve uh, in terms of del dot a and can take other to other side to resolve the uh, vector integrals. So uh, we can apply these concepts to other uh, vector operations and similarly we can resolve all what um, the integrals into into uh, integration by parts. So uh, this is this much for integration uh, integral calculus. So we'll continue with other topics in the in the book. 
next lectures. See you. Bye.